this is Carla. Where's your emergency? Um, hi, this is an off-duty officer. Um, can I get, I need Enos. Um, uh, I'm in number. Um, what's your address? Uh, Do you need police okay. as well or just EMS? Yes, I need both. Okay, what's the address? Uh, I'm at apartment number 1478. And what's the yes. address there? Um, it's 1210 South Lamar, 1478. Yes. Yeah. What's missed, going on? I'm an off-duty officer. I thought it was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking that he was thinking it was my apartment. He shot someone? Yes, I thought it was my apartment. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Okay, and the, where, where are you at right now? I'm in, uh, what do you mean? I'm inside the apartment with him. Hey, come on. What's your name? I'm Amber Geiger. I need to get me, I'm, I'm in. Okay, we have help on the way. I know, but oh. I'm, I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna lose my job. If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely. If you leave me, let me down slowly. Let me down. What's up, what's up, it's Ike Bell. And it's late night, so I can't be too crazy and loud, but. Thank you to Henry that sent me the link to the Amber Geiger 911 call, the official audio. Uh, I'm going to be playing some clips for you. Uh, I'll put the link if you want to hear the full version. Uh, and it's kind of disturbing, man. Uh, one of the things, and I'm going to play some more clips, that kind of bothered me throughout this was that she's all about herself. Talking about losing her job. Talking about she's effed. While literally... Uh, Botham Jean is dying bleeding out in front of her imagine because I was just thinking like can you imagine this woman shoots you it's your last moments of life somebody's there talking to you barely talking to you she's more concerned about her job uh, and that she's effed meanwhile she's so much she's effed and she's going to lose her job meanwhile you're there bleeding out dying to me, that, that was kind of a little bit mind-blowing. I'm going to show you this clip right now where, well, th through the whole audio, she keeps saying, I thought, it, I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. When she goes to talk to Botham, the only thing she can tell him is, hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. At the beginning of this video, she actually said, get up, man. Get up. And she goes, hey, bud. Hey, bud. Can you imagine dying? At least, like, I mean, I don't know. She seemed frantic. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what kind of somebody that's frantic can give somebody the consolation. But she's the cop. She's supposed to have the experience. I mean, I would just think it's just human nature. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come on. Oh, fuck. And the, what's the gate code there? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I need them. I thought it was my apartment. They're trying to get in there. There, We have an officer there. You don't know the gate code? No. If you also notice from that clip I just played, she didn't know the gate code to her own building, which was kind of weird, you know? Uh, and from what I heard in the stories, I thought they had a little bit of trouble accessing and getting past the gate codes. Uh, so that, that caused a bit of a delay. Uh, the next clip I'm going to play is a kind of graphic because um, you can hear Amber Geiger and you can hear Botham a little bit. And it was kind of hard for me to hear that. So if you don't want to hear that, it's a, grunt, it's a grunting sound. So if you don't want to hear that, then I would stop the video here. Uh, but there's something, I think, something else that needs to be noticed here. Something else that I'm, I find missing from all this audio is the fact that she doesn't seem to be performing any kind of CPR, any kind of resuscitation. You know, she's just, hey, bud, hey, bud, hey, bud. You hear him grunting, moaning. The most comforting thing she might have said throughout this whole thing, besides I'm effed and I'm screwed and I'm going to lose my job and oh my God, like everything's about her. Who cares about this guy dying on the floor, right? Everything's about her. The most comforting thing maybe was they're coming. Hey, bud, they're coming. Check it out. Hey, bud, hey, bud, they're coming, they're bud. I'm sorry, man. Okay, where was she? Where was he shot? 
He's on the top top left. Oh my god. I'm done. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Hey bud. They're trying to get there to you, okay? I know. I, stay with me, bud. I mean, I don't know. Who am I to say what I would do have somebody been in front of me had I shot somebody and they're bleeding out how can I say how I would react right but there doesn't seem to be any kind of resuscitation going on did she cover up the wound did she try to stop the bleeding it didn't seem like she was assisting him at all to me in my opinion uh, and check out this last bit of audio the kicker this was towards the end of the five minutes she goes I'm so tired I'm so tired why would you say that after killing somebody, after uh, getting the wrong apartment, all sorts of stuff? Is that now because now you're thinking, holy crap, I screwed up big time, and this guy's probably going to die, so let me just throw in there that I'm really tired. I how the fuck did I get out of there? How did I get out this board? I'm just tired. Sir, I thought it was in my apartment, thinking it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I, I thought it was my apartment. 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 I could have sworn I parked on the third floor. I thought it was my apartment. 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 I thought I thought they were in my apartment. I thought this was my floor. I see potential subscribers. Subscribe for more. This is a motherfucking war.